How's it going guys? Just down here at the aquaponics and aquaculture setup and I've been sorting out the new filters and fish tank for the aquaponics build and I figured I pretty much all should do a roundup clip for the aquaponics system. Um, we've had it in place for two years now and it's been a, a booming success in my book so I thought I'd just give you a bit of a look at it. Um, just quickly, started off with um, 30 fish in the system, jade perch, there's 12 left in there just keeping the, um, the bacteria colony ticking over in the system and they'll be going into the fish tank that the camera is actually leaning against on the weekend hopefully. Um, production wise we've had some really good harvest from this system, really full on ones, especially our uh, bullthorn capsicums to begin with, and then all the salad greens we've had through it, water chestnuts, sweet potato, um, strawberries, pepinos, all sorts of things we've um, had come out of the grow beds and I've been really chuffed with it. Not as productive as a lot of people um, have had with their systems, by no means saying that you know we've got the best aquaponics system out there. I um, had a couple of people actually comment and say, geez that's a pretty shabby looking system. Um, yeah it's been great for us. I mean we grew our own fish, never you know when I first started gardening would I have thought that I'd be growing my own fish in the backyard so I'm pretty stoked on that count alone. Um, last six months or so I've just let it go to pot, I've let the beds just go wild basically. I've been planning on doing this rebuild for quite some time now and as new things cropped up I kept um, putting back the rebuild over and over and then until ultimately uh, Paul Van offered me his aquaponic system and yeah I had to snap it up so yeah it got pushed back further till I could set this one up. So anyway I'll stop gibbering on and I'll give you a bit of a look at the fish and just how the system's going at the moment. So the fish, as you can see, are doing all right. Um, a little bit skiddy because there's a camera in here. A little bit embarrassing that you know the um, venturi line's fallen off and on the bottom of the tank, but you get that, don't you? Um, haven't had too many issues with solids build up. There's a couple down the bottom there, but it's mainly winter, so they've gone off their feed. They're only getting about half what they'd normally get. As you can see, there's some rather nice big ones in there, so I've been pretty happy with them. Um, the water temperature, we had a minus two last night, I think it was, I, I didn't, I haven't double checked the figures, but the water temperature in here this morning was 15.5, um, I've got a hill, uh, little heater in here, so just spook the fish a bit, I've got a little um, titanium heater in here at the moment, 500 watt jobby, and I'm putting that on every night, um, just to see them through the night, um, yeah, and it's kept them on their feed, they just haven't been as feeding as vigorously as they um, normally would. Hello fella. Um, these guys over here though, the small little jades, they're probably not going to come out and play. They've already had a feed today. Um, those guys in that system, because it's a closed system and doesn't have water falling through the grow beds and that sort of thing, the temperature in this one here, the aquaculture system, is actually staying right up. It's staying around about 17, 18 degrees, so these guys are feeding like it's summer. Um, the system itself, give you a bit of a look, actually we'll step back, hey? Um, absolutely phenomenal just in the greenness of it all it's uh, rather impressive the amount of growth in there as far as I'm concerned um, like I said as for production yeah maybe not but yeah plants are growing and growing well we've got the pepinos down in there got a couple of pepinos get a bit of shade on them for you a couple of pepinos going there there's a bunch of four there there's some more just down over here in the corner as well um, the broad ripple yellow currants We've got them coming on as well. A couple of ripe ones down in here I saw earlier. Just down in there. More pepinos down in there. So absolutely phenomenal just the green growth. The lavender there as well. Um, we did have strawberries and rosemary in there. We've been growing a lot of things from cuttings. Um, just the strawberries, they got smothered out. Lavender's grown from cutting. The rosemary was grown from cuttings. The tomato's grown from cuttings. Um, the sweet potato was grown from cuttings, a pepino. Um, they've just all done phenomenally well in the aquaponics. Um, lavender, I was actually surprised how well lavender had gone. I was told that lavender don't like wet roots, but they've absolutely thrived in there. Um, Warrigal greens, they died off. Strangely enough, I've got them booming in the soil patch, but they've pretty much all died off here at the moment, so I'm not too sure what the story is there. As you can see, we've got the pepino coming in over to this bed now. Um, the tomatoes didn't like the cool night last night, I don't think, and their leaves have started to curl a bit. Uh, over the back here, we've got some jalapenos. Um, the jalapeno is still fruiting. This part of the plant's doing fine. The other part over the back there, as you can see, has started to die off. Uh, over here, the sorrel. We've been harvesting this um, red sorrel a fair bit. 
it wasn't it didn't like the summer heat here but yeah, in winter it's just bounced back phenomenally well lots of new growth down the bottom these are my new pepinos these are just all grown from cuttings a couple of dud looking leaves on there I'll just nip off um, this, what's going to happen is I'm going to need to move the big pepino over there and if it doesn't handle being um, trimmed right back and the roots trimmed up I've got a couple of small ones here I can just put straight into Dutch buckets or some sort of an arrangement and yeah they'll be a lot easier to transplant than the large one um, I've got what one two three four five there so if I plan out you know if I get two successful ones I can give the uh, three away to my sister or friends or whatever so yeah not too worried about that over here we have pineapple sage it's just gone absolutely burko in here it's brought in the native bees the blue bandage the Europeans it's taken over that whole bed um, the sweet potatoes in there as well we did have some parsley in there but it's just been smothered along with the um, strawberries so as you can see it is a very productive green wise system just not so in food so there you go so just to give you a bit of a quick idea on what's happening with the system um, this fish tank once the fish get moved from there into that first tank over there this fish tank will be going to my parents and I'll be setting up a system at their place and they'll be getting um, the radial flow filter there, just a small one and two grow beds, they're not going to have a massive system, they're only going to stock about 15 to 20 fish um, so they can handle two grow beds, a sump tank, radial flow filter and I'm not too sure about a bio filter I might lend them my bio filter just so they can get the system cycled faster because um, I've got their silver perch just over in that fish tank over there just babysitting them for them so that's what's happening there these two grow beds are going the sump and the grow bed on top of it it'll pretty much all be staying for a, a little while we'll just wait and see and these two fish tanks here will be coming online just a bit of a sneak peek at the new system had to extend the hoop house out just to um, be able to shade the fish tanks I've left a little bit of a gap there so I can turn that into a doorway and extended this pad out as well so I could fit the two tanks on there um, the two tanks are just covered by some little weights and shade cloth at the moment um, down the side here where I need to pave um, you'll be able to walk in between the two tanks and lift lids up either way there down here they will be flowing through into a radial flow filter then a moving bed bio filter and then a sump tank and then out to the aquaponics setup or the grow bed sorry so it's going to be really easy just to take them out of there once this is all hooked up pop them straight into that fish tank with their own water and you know they won't know any different so it's going to be hopefully a very painless move um, I moved this hoop house out as well just so I could have some shake cloth come over the back of these filters so the sweet potato got a bit of a hammering as it was growing all up this hoop here so there you go there's just a little bit of a sneak peek so there you go there's a bit of a roundup on the system before I start to cannibalize it and pull it to pieces and a bit of a sneak peek at the new system over there so I'll do a few more clips as that's coming online just showing you how I've hooked it all up um, really impressed like I said I mean we grew fish pretty stoked about that um, the, the harvest will improve with the next grow beds I'm using, growing a few different methods next time not just the straight grow bed so probably buckets, NFT and some soil beds so wait and see what they turn out like anyway I'm going to wrap it up there if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you other than that I hope you all have a fantastic one and take it easy cheers guys